We told you about a couple whose wedding day plans were ruined when Club Rio Rancho shut down. Tonight they're speaking out, and so is a former minority owner of the country club. News 13's Aaron Drawhorn has more on their wedding woes. Aaron? Dean, this couple is not looking to get rich, but with no wedding venue, they are now suing to get their $7,000 back. Images of wedding days passed at Club Rio Rancho had one couple sold on the country club venue, but it turned out to be far from picture perfect. Looking forward to that date. It was a little difficult. Orlando Gonzalez and Gladys Olivas had their save the date. Our venue is pretty much um, gone with the wind. The contract was signed. They tie the knot here, April 22nd, and they paid money to Club Rio Rancho. A little over 7,000. But the couple had no idea Rio Rancho's only country club was not up to par with its finances. The rug got pulled from underneath us. The grass, I was looking forward to, you know, my pictures being taken there, you know, with the view of the mountains. It's just absolutely terrible. It, it just, just gives you a, a, a pit in your stomach. Bob Gallagher is former minority owner of Club Rio Rancho and believes this couple is not alone. I do have a list of over 30 events that have been scheduled in 2017 with approximately seventy-five dollars to $80,000 of deposits that were taken by Club Rio Rancho. Attorney Brian Branch took on Gladys's and Orlando's case pro bono. What we hope to find out in the lawsuit is what happened to the money and who knew what when as far as when they were on financial straits. Orlando will kiss the bride formally next year. New date and new location to be determined. Named in the lawsuit, Club Rio Rancho's owner, Jet Brown, Bob Gallagher, who you just heard from in the piece, says he hasn't heard from Brown since September. The groom to be says Brown didn't return his call and he has not returned News 13's calls either. Dean. All right, thank you, Aaron. Club Rio Rancho shut down January 1st and became bank owned. It was plagued with nearly $4 million in debt and according to the city owed more than $350,000 in water bills and penalties.